Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 10 of my Byzantium Civilization 5 game. Uh, in the previous part I was gearing up for an invasion of the Huns, uh, simply because they're starting to annoy me with their uh, expansion on my border and uh, I don't have any more room to expand myself and it's either go to war with them or Poland. And I think if I can take out the Huns, or a large chunk of them, uh, I won't have to uh, worry near so much uh, about Poland, because I'll have more cities to garrison and so on. Anyway, I could upgrade uh, a bunch of these units, uh, and uh, I'm just going to look at what the cost is. It's pretty expensive, so uh, what kind of units did... I wonder what kind of units the uh, Huns have. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be uh, bringing my cannons in and my uh, um, uh, my uh, land uh, other land units here, the infantry, uh, the musket men, and uh, knights. Um, I actually should upgrade my. Uh, Oh, okay. They need to be in my territory to upgrade, obviously. So I will do that with these. Because they'll be the ones I'll be actually uh, hitting the uh, cities with. I don't have enough gold to upgrade uh, these guys, and I don't have the uh, tech yet for it anyway. Um, okay. Um, right. So I'm going to go after this city here. So I'm going to bring uh, my riflemen in this way. I need to make sure I don't park them here or here which means I can only bring three in to bear on the actual city itself and then behind them I'll bring in the cannons which will which have a range of um, what's their range a range of two so they can come in behind the riflemen and then I use the riflemen to actually take the city and the cannons to uh, to attack it. Uh, now I can bring the cannons in in a wider arc. So I don't need, I, I have, with because they won't be right beside the uh, uh, citadels here. And there we go, uh, there's a uh, fourth, uh, is it? Uh, no. Uh, two, yeah, that's a fourth cannon I've got. Okay. So I got four cannons to bring in. Okay, so I built a Colosseum there. Uh, zoo would be good for happiness. Market for gold. Zoo has maintenance. Um, Yeah, I'll build the, the market there. Right. Okay, so... What do I need to bring these guys in? I need to come in this way. Okay, I'll bring that guy forward, that guy up here. Okay, so one, that guy over here. These, uh, oh, crossbowmen still? Crossbows still. I might actually have a hope here. 
Uh, okay, so these guys are going to come in behind the... Uh, Uh, right. I'm going to come in behind. And let's see what I can see over here. And over here. And over here for visibility. Okay. Now he's going to ask me about my troop buildup, I'm sure. Offering three gold and two iron for crab. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll do that. Yep, he did wonder about it. Now, I said I was going to invade, so we'll do that. Several city-states have declared war. Okay. Let's see what we can see here. Oh, there's a city there. Okay, that's worth knowing. Okay, I'll bring this guy in. All the way in. That guy comes in there. This guy comes in here. Okay. This one comes in here. Here. Okay, good. That's uh... why the heck did you wake up for a bloody uh, worker? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Right. Now we see what happens. Oh, okay. What do we see over there? Not a lot. A unit needs orders. Well... Now let's see. This guy's going to take damage. This guy's going to take... Oh, he went after that one. Okay. So I'll attack the crossbow there with uh, this guy. This is a good way to find out what other cities I I have to uh, deal with there. Uh, so I'll bring this guy up here. I'll bring this guy in here. 
and this guy in here and plunder I'll attack there I'm gonna lose this guy I think um, right I'll uh, leave that guy there what is that grassland forest uh, I'll put a, a lumber mill there okay so I'll get that guy in there and set up to uh, fire that's a hill I can farm the hill yeah I'll do that um, right it's a cannon bring the cannon around there uh, cannon there cannon there set up to fire that is of dubious safety that attack So I'll park that guy there. Now where's the uh, fourth cannon off to? I had one. Oh, here we go. I'll bring him in there. Okay. Now we see what's going on. Oh, okay. Uh, now we see what's doing here. Uh, yeah, I did lose that one. It wasn't the smartest thing I ever did uh, attacking that crossbow beside the city there um, right so Attila has a lot of cities going on there that's an archaeologist that I'll plant over here uh, right. Now to start attacking. There we go. We'll puppet the city. There we go. Now, take out that uh, bowman there. And there you have it. If you uh, spam enough units at a city, at least at this point in the game, it's relatively easy to take it. So, I'm going to continue working my way through these uh, cities here. Uh, so, now these are mine, so I can park uh, uh, units in them or near them. So, I'll come in, I'll uh, come after this city. And since I don't have citadels to worry about there. Okay. Uh, so I finished an archaeologist there. I don't need. Well, I do have use for one more archaeologist. So. Because there is one over 
here. Now, before I get too far, I'm going to take a look in here and see. Nope, there were no great works in the city I took. So, if there had been, I would have moved them uh, so that when the city was, if the city gets recaptured, uh, it doesn't end up. Uh, Uh, leaving me with uh, like losing the uh, great works again okay what I'm going to do is send this guy out uh, right let the cannon heal. Uh, uh, right. Move that guy out. Park those guys. I'm going to park a cannon in there for defense. Right, and I'll start arranging these uh, to come in here. Right. Okay, these guys are basically healed here. So, I'll start bringing my guys here in. Oh, I can set that one up to fire. Uh, right. Park that one in the city. Uh, move that one in. Okay. There's reasonable odds I'll get a peace offering here. Uh, right, do the archaeology. Okay, I didn't. Right. Oh, bugger, can't see it.
can't can't see over obstacles right so I'm gonna have to do it this way Right, so I'll have to bring these guys down here, if that's going to work. Um, right, I'm just going to park that one in there. Right. Okay, that takes care of that guy coming in. Right. Okay, production, Constantinople. I don't really have anything doing here. I am going to build wealth. That will help. What was I building there? I think I was farming it. I can't remember. Okay. Next turn. We'll see what happens here. Right. Okay, I'll park that. Uh, forest. Grassland. Yeah. Forest grassland. Okay, I'll do that now. Pillage. Attack. Attack. Move in. Attack. Attack. Yeah, that wasn't so good. Those guys are weak against cities. But, uh, well, if I pillage, he might attract the... Uh, Okay, might attract uh, the fire from uh, from the others there. It looks like I should be able to get that city next time around. I'm going to have an... Un okay. 
more ancient ruins. Now, let's see. Oh, the unhappiness from that is done. View city. Yeah, okay, that's good. No, that's not going to help me any. He's offering me Mecca. So he really wants to keep that city. Yeah, I'll take the peace deal. Now, do I want to liberate it? Or keep it? Well, if I liberate it, I maintain a buffer there, but if I keep it, I get a way into the area there. I'm going to keep it. Okay. Now, let's see. That's quite a lot of territory there. Now, view city. Uh, four turns to right. Now, I'll take a look in here. Uh, Mecca has a work of writing. So I'll move that to my capital. And that means then I get the bonus. Okay. I'm going to move that up to Antioch. Okay. Right. So, my guys have all been backed out. That's good. Now, Mecca. I'm going to need to send one of these guys to over to Mecca. Okay. So Poland took some of these guys. If I'd liberated Mecca, then the Arabs would have been back in the game. Uh... Going to bring all of these guys over to Mecca territory here. Ah, right. Well, 
Well, maybe not all of them. I'll leave some of these guys over here. Okay. Right. So I'm going to need some uh, workers over here to do some uh, renovations of these improvements here. Um, not much point until this finishes. Now, I've puppeted the cities instead of annexing them uh, because... Uh, that way it doesn't increase the, uh, the, uh, culture cost of, uh, policies and ideological tenets. Okay, so I can park these guys over here because I definitely don't trust Attila. Uh, there's a good chance I'll see an invasion after the the um, next uh, after the treaty expires okay uh, so what I need to do is drive a road to Mecca and I think coming around this way maybe across this pontoon bridge which is in this tile is it um, yeah, I think that's the, uh, well, or I could come up around this way. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I want to come around this way. Okay. I should get a decent gold inf influx from Mecca when the uh, the um, uh, resistance ends. Oh, right. I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, okay, so I finished an arsenal there. Well, I'm going to need some workers, so I'll build a worker there. And I'll build a worker here. Uh, that's a Colosseum, so that's got the happiness up. Uh, I think maybe a bank. Okay. Right. Uh, he wants dyes, he's offering actual gold. Okay. Mm. 
No. Nope. Okay, I need to uh, connect a road here. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Well, across there will work. Uh, right. Well, I suppose I could go up that way, but no. Okay, that's the Huns have that. That was quite a lot of territory associated with Mecca there. Right, I had a antiquity site over here. Uh, I don't see any over there. That one is just outside everybody's border. don't see one in here. Okay, so if I have something useful to produce here, no. I'll make another archaeologist. Okay, so that I'll put a road there. All right, I was parking that guy there. Okay, so I set up the garrison there. Okay, I've actually, my gold production's actually gone even now. So that's good. I can actually support the uh, army I've got out now. Huh. Somebody was converting people there. Oh, it's barbarians. Uh, right. Okay. Right. Uh, well, what can I build here? Well, not a lot. Okay. Well, wealth it is then. Is there anything here? No. Right, I can build useful things there. And I need it to go over here.
Okay, so that nearly gets rid of that. Road there. I'll probably remove these. Enemy is near. Huh. Oh, wandered away. Uh, right. Oh! Now, I can go up here and... Oh, no, 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 no. I should take one of these guys up here. Uh, right. I should probably do something with my spy at some point here. But, yeah. Okay. Okay, that deals with a uh, barbarian there. Don't know why it's starving. It's got plenty of food around here. Oh, probably because the barbarian embargoed this area. Uh, okay. Okay, so I should be able to take out that pike there. Uh, that's a camp. That's all good. Well, that, uh, cleared that. Okay. Put a camp on there. Now what have I... Ooh, we got an archaeology. Choose archaeology. Hunnic artifact. Ancient uh, era. Um, create a artifact. Sure. Okay. Onward. Now let's see. He's offering gold for crab. Um, okay.
wait. Uh... Oh, that was a market. Okay, that explains the gold change. Uh... Yeah, museum would be a good idea. Especially if I'm going to be collecting artifacts. Okay, so there's a wonder with the next... Uh... I'm going to leave that guy there just in case that barbarian camp pops up again. Uh, okay, there's a wonder with the next tech. If it hasn't been built already. So anyway, Civilization Six is apparently uh, coming along soon, in the fall. And that's apparently got a completely uh, revamped uh, game engine. Um, which uh, which will bring along uh, a whole uh, raft of new wrinkles for playing the game. Uh, one of the big ones, apparently, is that... Uh, is that uh, you, the cities won't actually be just the one tile. And you'll have to use up tiles for building different types of buildings, so the cities will actually expand on the actual map. Okay, I'm going to actually hurry that. Um, right. So it's not going to be where you can build every wonder and everything all in uh, one uh, one city. Uh, you're going to have to keep in mind the balance of actually being able to feed your uh, population in addition to uh, being able to build your uh, wonders and stuff. So that will be uh, an interesting uh, wrinkle in the mix. Oh, right. Uh, well, that'll buy me a little bit of time. Um, but not much. Okay, that's the wonder built. Uh, right. That's another forest grassland. And I have me a great general, which I'm going to park over here. Uh, right. Oh, it's a caravan. Go figure. Um,. Right, it was... There we go. Uh, right, I was putting a road there. So to get rid of these, I just have to build another improvement in the same tile. Um, right. Uh, okay, so I built an aqueduct. Yeah, windmill seems like an idea there. Um, right. Well, really not much to do there. So, wealth it is. That's a really important uh, tech, the one that gives you the wealth generation. 
Uh, usually by the time you get to this point in the game, you've got cities where there's nothing productive you can do and nothing even semi-productive you can do. Um, right. Yeah, I'm going to farm those. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm just going to move that guy inland so he doesn't keep waking up. Okay, so that's most of that road built. Uh, what is that? That's a grassland river. I'm going to make a farm there. That's a lot more useful than a uh, citadel. Only reason the AI put them there is he was stealing land from me, so... Uh, joke's on him, I went and took his city from the other side. Uh, as I wasn't dumb enough to come around the citadels. Now, okay. Oh! There's a road already there. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I guess that's what this is. That That's the indicator of the road. Okay. So I'll put a road there. This is the uh, pontoon bridge. Uh, it's not something that uh, is available in the stock game, but uh, I've got a mod that enables it. It's available as part of a scenario, I think. And what the mod does is just makes that available. Uh, so that's a seaport there. So I've got some actual production going on there now. Uh, well, I'll go with the Colosseum first, as I want to. Make sure I don't, my empire doesn't get too unhappy. Right. Uh, that's the final road bit to uh, join Mecca. And once I build that, then basically if I take any other... Um, Hunnic cities, I'll, I'll probably already have a city connection, so that'll be good. No, I want to make him sleep. You know what? If I take a... Uh, Say one of these guys over here. Right. Okay, so that's that. One, two, three. So that's in range. The most is literate. Ooh! I'm in second place on number of techs. That's pretty decent. Uh, right. Uh, 
Let me take a look in here. What What is this doing here? Uh, if I put this on default focus. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's better. I think I, I should switch those... Uh, uh, trade routes to food now, actually. Uh, Carthaginian. Uh, ancient era. Okay. Now, we'll uh, take a look here. Uh, Huns. Carthage. Byzantium. Uh, okay. I'm going to... What? No. I want to move this one. Put it here. Put these here. Okay. So I've got two theming bonuses from museums now. So that's, that's nice. Now what's, that's what, uh, you know, three turns for that to finish. Choosing production here. Oh, oh, so that's a seaport. Okay. So I'll do a market there. Uh, workshop. Uh, Yeah, I'll start uh, making the C tiles useful there. Okay, a couple more uh, uh, turns here, and this uh, knight here will arrive. Okay, there's a city connection. Uh, what is that? Plains. Well, I definitely want to put a farm there. buy myself a few more turns there. Uh, <laughs> Embargo in Polynesia. Okay. So far, so good there. Well, I might as well improve that tile while I'm there. OK. 
Okay, so I'll uh, whack this guy. I'm up on an hour here, so I'm just about going to end the part here. Dope. Uh, okay, that's a quarry on, okay. Okay. Well, there's not much else to do there, but uh, improve that. Uh, what have I finished there? A factory. Um, so I should go for the uh, water tiles there. Right, okay. Ah. Well, yeah, of course I'm going to return it. Okay. Oh. Okay, I've got the uh, city connection for uh, Mecca, and I've got that straightened out for a while. So I'll let that, that uh, unit heal. Okay, so far so good. Okay, how's my influence here doing? Okay, Ormus is the one I'm going to have to uh, um, bribe now. That's okay, so that'd be plus one food. Yeah, lumber mill there. Uh, windmill. Well, yeah, I think I'll build the defensive stuff there. Okay, so I think after this turn, I'll uh, call the part. Oh, maybe I'll go at least one more so I can see the outcome of the uh, the vote there. Um, I don't have a granary there, so that's going to have to be production. Um, but this one can be food. Right. Okay, well, set them up that way. 
Um, right. Go over here. I'm actually just going to run this guy up here. Ooh, archaeology. An Arabian artifact. Okay. Where'd it put it? Yeah, that'll do. You know, I should uh, plant this guy. Uh, Huns. Attila's court. Okay, let's see what that, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let's see what that, uh, vote comes out as here. Okay, peace treaty's done. We did not embargo Polynesia, and we did not. That uh, definitely wouldn't have uh, passed. Okay. Um, what have I got here? Well, there's really nothing doing here. So. There we go. Uh, right. Actually, I'll just go one more turn. Yes, this is uh, the just one more turn thing. I really don't want to have to pick a war with Poland. That'd be annoying. Um, right. Oh, I should uh, actually repair that. And over here. Right. Well, uh, that's going to be the end of, what is it, uh, part 10 of the of the series here uh, so I'll I guess I'll see everyone back for part 11